This is the last word on the Arrow Flinger reports. Last April, I had the chance to talk to former Congressman John Spratt, a financial expert who I had long admired because of his views on balanced budgets and fiscal conservatism. However, Representative Pratt in recent years abandoned his history of fiscal conservatism, just threw it out the window, and consequently he was defeated in his re-election bid in Congress in 2010. So now he's a lobbyist in Washington. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Politicians have let me down more times than a practice dummy at a funeral home training school. When I say John Spratt abandoned his principles, he didn't just do it in a small way. He voted for TARP, and then he voted for the Obama stimulus package. And as you noted, John Spratt invoked the name of Ben Bernanke. Well, Ben Bernanke, even though he's man of the year, this man of the year, Ben Bernanke, who John Spratt admires, has totaled up trillions of dollars in unmarketable toxic assets on the Fed's balance sheet. With these sorts of awards going on, heck, I could be PETA man of the year. People for the ethical treatment of animals. I'm a, I'm a hunter, as you can probably tell. So I know John, John Spratt, John Spratt, my hero, let me down. Every day I'm more confused as the saints turn into sinners. All my heroes and legends I knew as a child have fallen to idols of clay. Don't laugh. I'm serious. John Spratt was a hero of mine, and now that's gone. Thank you, C-SPAN host Libby Casey, and thanks to Representative John Spratt of South Carolina, turned lobbyist. When he left the stage, I'm sure his pockets jingled with the 30 pieces of silver.